Assalamu alaikum everyone Today we've got a very special video today Now in today's video we're going to do something that I've wanted to do for quite a while Now we all use different types of fertilizers We spend so much money on different fertilizers And we don't know which one really works and which one doesn't So I put a test together where we're going to try them all out separately And end of the season we're going to see which one come out the best Right so here we have all the fertilizer that we're going to use which one are you stirring, Jacob? Uh, the seaweed. Right, we've got seaweed fertilizer here, as you can see. Then we got this one, which is chicken manure pellets. And then this is the one where I've already put the seaweed into the bottle with water. Then we've got tomato feed here. We've got all purpose continuous release miracle grow plant food. We've got all-purpose miracle grow liquid plant food. And here we've got fish, blood and bone. Now, as you can see, we've got tomato plants. We've got six tomato plants. They're all more or less of the same age and same size. We're going to use this, these plants for the experiment. And here I've got six pots, all the same size, with normal compost with perlite in it. Nothing else, normal multi-purpose compost, perlite. And I've labelled them. This one's going to have nothing in it. I'm just going to use water on this one. This one's got chicken manure, fish blood and bone. So we're, we're going to put that in this one. And then this one we're going to have miracle Grow slow release. This one we're going to use miracle Grow all-purpose liquid. This one's going to be tomato feed. And this one's going to be seaweed. Now I've already put the tomato feed into this bottle here with some water. I've also got the miracle Grow which is in here miracle grow liquid fertilizer and we've got the seaweed so what we've got to do first Jakob what do we have to do first Baba? we've got to put the plants into the pot let's plant all the tomatoes into the pot and before we do that I'm going to get the chicken manure and we're going to stick some chicken manure in there See, we were going to use a liquid fertilizer, so we're going to water it like normal what about water. This? this we're not going to use because we we're using the juice from it, you know, which is in the bottle. So I've got chicken manure pellets in it, and then I'm going to add a bit of fish what? blood and bone. There you go. Now we're going to use nothing else on this; just water it, water it once a week. Now here we're going to use Miracle Grow slow release fertilizer. So let's go, let's put that in. There we go. A bit of that, that should do it, not too much. All right. Now let's plant the tomatoes in them. Okay, so let's start. The first one is this one, which is going to be, what were we using this one, Jakub? Nothing. This Nothing. is going to be the plain one. So let's get the tomato. Let's see. Wait, I think the last one is seaweed. Last one is going to be seaweed. Yep, whatever it says on there. Stick this in here and put compost all around it Papa, why are these floods dry? Hmm? Why are the floods dry? Right, the next one we're going to do is chicken pellet and fish blood and bone. Right. Jakob, do you know which one do you, which one do you think is going to be the best fertilizer out of all of them? Eating by the toe. Which seaweed. is that? The seaweed, yeah? yeah? We'll find out, hopefully, until like yeah, the end, wish there was sand. end of the season. Uh, sand, you can't do sand, Baba. Sand doesn't have no fertilizer in it. You can mix it. Mm. Right, so let's do this one, which is a chicken. I'm only gonna, on these ones, I'm only gonna use water, plain water to water them because I've already got the fertilizer inside the compost now. Chicken manure. Right, so this one's done. The next one is, which is the next one, Baba? Uh, miracle Grow Slow. Miracle Grow Slow, slow. Release. Mm -hmm. 
Right, here we go. Miracle grow. Let's see if we get miracles out of them. <laughs> That's a good joke. I mean, most of you probably use all of these fertilizers at different times, sometimes all together. So, oh, so I tell you what, I think people didn't hmm. use which one? this. Yes, yeah, seaweed. Seaweed is one which is quite hard to get hold of, but I've heard it's very good. So and we only... got our seaweed from the beach. We got it from the beach in Bournemouth, Pool. Yeah. So there's only one way to find out, and I think this is probably the best way. Hopefully they will survive. And hopefully we get tomatoes on them. And I'm going to put them all in the same place, same amount of sunlight, same Why amount of sunlight. The wind blew it off. <laughs> right, so that is. Are all gone. of these tomatoes? These are all tomato plants, brother. All of them. All of them. Okay. Right, which is the next one, Jacob? Uh, this one here? Yeah. What is it? Uh, Go and have a look. Uh, miracle Grow. Miracle Grow liquid fertilizer. So, so, this, this? so this one is the one we're going to water with the liquid fertilizer in it yeah. and we've, all, we've got them all according to how much water you should use and how many spoonfuls but or... But do you need this? Yep, we're going to water them later, hold on, let's do them all. Okay. Um, just, you've got to make sure we water the right one with the right stuff. Right stuff! Can you hear the bird singing, Baba? Yes. You know what it is? What? The bird that is singing is a blackbird. Oh. And do you know why they're singing? Yeah. They sing mainly in the spring and in the summer. You won't hear them singing in the winter or late autumn. They, in the spring and summer, they mainly sing. And the ones that sing are the male birds. And they sing to attract the female birds. And that's how they attract them. Why do they attract the female birds? They attract the female birds so they can make a home yeah. and make a nest yeah. and have loads of little babies. That's why. Okay. Next one. Right, what is the next one, Baba? A uh, seaweed. Are you sure? Go and have a good look at it. Seaweed. Seaweed, yep. Good boy. There we go, seaweed. I, when I do the seaweed, Seaweed. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay, not too much. Let's finish all this first. Yeah. We've also got to put sticks on them. There you go. Now, about two years ago, I've done a test with... What did I do? I've done a test with a raw... Raw fish waste, you know, fish head and fish bones and all that, raw. And a normal one. And at the end of the test, it was a raw fish waste. The plants had more tomatoes than the normal... You should do that again. Oh, we've done that. This is a big experiment. This is one of the best ones you can do. This one, I will call it the mother of all fertilizer experiments. Mm -hmm. Can plants survive in the winter? No, nope, some plants can survive, some can't. It depends on which country they're from. Can daisies survive? No, nope, daisies die in the winter. Some okay, plants. Baba, what is the last one? Uh, what is uh, this one? Tomato feed. Tomato feed. So hopefully this mm -hmm. should actually come out the best because tomato feed is specially made for tomatoes. But you can use tomato feed on naga plants and loads of other plants, especially on pepper plants. Alright, here we go. What are you doing, Baba? The uh, Did the label come off? Yeah. We'll put it back on, don't worry. It's a lot of plastic. Oh, you don't keep this. Is it back on there? Yeah. Okay. Baba, hmm? how about we, uh, do, uh, we do water them uh, this, the last one? We water one. them all together one time a week, hopefully, unless they need more watering. Baba, then we'll water why them do we more with use fertilizer. the same water or the same plant? No, we're going to use different fertilizers. 
Like if we put seaweed water there. We're only going to use seaweed water. Okay. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. The liquid fertilizer, only liquid fertilizer. And the plain one, only plain water. Okay. Well, how about the water, the egg tube that okay, one? Okay, right, that's done. Yeah. Let's put this sticks in all of them. Stakes in all of them. They're nice and firm. We don't want them breaking. Always do this with your tomato plants when you do stick them because if you leave them outside, the wind can actually break them. The last thing you want to do is a broken tomato plant. There we go. Nice one here. Now we've got the plant ties. Not too hard, soft, gently. We don't want to damage the plant. Guess what plant you're doing? What plant are we doing? Guess what plant that is? I'm not sure about that. Is that seaweed? Seaweed! And, yeah, and this yeah. is tomato plant. Tomato seed. Tomato seed. Right, that's all done. Now, give me the seaweed, Baba. Huh? No, which one? This one? Huh? Which is this one? Uh, that one is... Well, uh, Miracle Grow Fertilizer. Alright, give me this bottle here. Okay, this one. Yep, this one here. Right. Wow, here. Quite heavy. There we go. Mashallah. Well, here we go. Miracle Grow. Not too much. There we go. I'm going to do this about once a week. Right, the next one is... Seaweed. Seaweed. Yeah. Give me the seaweed, Baba. Huh? There we go. There we go. And go it. There we go. There we go. So get a little bit of seaweed juice from yeah. here. Okay, leave it, Baba. Be careful. There we go. Huh. So seaweed is done. The one after that. It's tomato. What? Yeah, tomato piece. Can you carry it? Good boy, you're a strong boy. Hold on. There we go. Tomato piece. Okay. Right, so that's done. Now we've got to do the other three. This one's plain water. This is plain water as well, but this one's got chicken feed, chicken manure pellets. This one is slow release miracle growth. Right, so that's all of them done. Okay, I'm starting to take them all over into the polytunnel. I'm going to leave them all on top of the pond for a few days. And as the weather gets better, I'll find a nice permanent spot for them. So let's take them all in. Okay, I brought them all in here and I'm going to leave them all here for probably a couple of days or a week, let them grow a bit bigger. And then I will be taking them all outside. And hopefully, inshallah, I will be giving you weekly updates on them and let's see how they do. And also, in the comments, write down which do you think will do the best. Which plant will come out the best out of all of them? I personally think the Miracle Grow liquid fertilizer will probably do the best out of all of them. But we can only find out from this experiment. And thank you all for watching and please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and subscribe to my channel. And what's your channel called? Yakub Super World. Yakub Super World. Thank you everyone and assalamu alaikum.